in the last few days, Ofer and I have been working on a POV wand, a precision, persistence of vision. And this is how it looks. Now, I had an idea of trying to do that with a shift register. And then, basically, instead of connecting it to a Uno or, or a Nano, I can do that with an 80 tiny 85. So, the first task will be to solder 16 LEDs on this pref board, connect them to the Uno somehow, and run the first program to make sure the LEDs works well. Then, I'm going to rewire it to use the shift registers and if that works well I'm gonna solder everything and then try it with an 80 tiny 85 so let's start by soldering the LEDs I got a variety here I'm gonna check some of them and see which one looks the best in dark as I told you I got a few kinds of LEDs so as you can notice this one is the, with the less of a blare about them it's not surprising because this one is supposed to be diffused this is this back so I'm I don't know if actually I have 16 here, but if I do, I'm going to use them for the stick. So let's start soldering. So yes, I do have 16, 16 LEDs in place. Got all the 16 LEDs uh, soldered. Now I just want to make sure that they're all working. And they do. So now I can solder the uh, resistors and connect wires. Resistors and wires in place. Next step is to create a header so I can connect them to the Uno. Any degrees, male connectors. So we got all the LEDs connected. And I've uploaded the code. And let's see if we can actually catch it working like this. No matter how hard I tried to take a video or a photo of it working on my own, I wasn't able to. So uh, as long as I saw it working, I just skipped the stage. So I moved to the next stage, which is to put the shift registers. There is two shift registers, one here and one here under this mess. And they are connected to the LEDs and it works perfectly. So my next job will be to solder two sockets here, like that and connect all the wires and get wires out, test it again and then the last step will be to try it with an 80 tiny 85 well, soldering time so I've placed the sockets and soldered all the LEDs to here except for those two because this is 1 through through 7 and 0 is right here and I want to solder the VCC and all the rest of the wires um, all, of it, all my videos are rarely shot in one day, it's usually a process of a few days and I get time to think about things. And with this I had a brilliant idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a socket here for all the needed wires for the shift registers and the power. And then I can connect to this whatever I want because I was thinking of an 80 tiny 85 which I'm going to do. And I was also thinking of maybe using an ESP and to be able to let's say uh, adjust the, a pattern that you show or send strings and then show them on the stick. So I'm going to make it versatile. So I need to wire a socket here, get all the rest of the wires, power and so on and of course test it. I finished soldering everything and I put the two ICs in place and I uploaded a, a test code for the Arduino Uno to test the binary count on the two ICs and the two 595 shift registers. If you want to learn more about shift registers, how to work, how to wire them up, there is, I made another video, there is a link on the screen and there is a link in the description. Our project is based on this great instructable. The version Offer and I worked on together is nano based and we kept it we kept the way the font and graphics is handled, but we changed the way the GPOs are set from digital write to port manipulation. In my version, since I used two shift registers, I just adjusted the code to work with it instead of the 16 GPIOs. We also managed to add Hebrew to the font, overriding the lower case of the English letters. As I mentioned before, it's hard to capture videos of this, and all the photos are in long exposure, so here are some photos. In the next video, I'm going to cover the code in depth and hopefully I will have an 80 tiny 85 and maybe an ESP8266 attached to the wand. 
Uh, so, if you haven't done it by now, please subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and see you next time.